Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It is Jeff from Achievement Hunter, and we're going to be getting the Garden Gnome achievement in this video, which is to guard everybody's favorite little valve gnome. And we're going to pick him up in Chapter 2 of Dark Carnival here at Fairground. We're going to run up to the Peanut Gallery deal here. And uh, right over here, you can see uh, here's the point value. These are the things we're going to be shooting. We're going to try and get 750 points before the time runs out. Just make sure not to hit Mr. Peanut Guy there. All right, I'm going to be doing this with my friend Andrew. So we hit the timer, and we both just start shooting. Goes pretty fast, actually. Uh, that was the big money winner right there, that guy. And as you can see, we're already up to like 360 points. Rolling through it. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, I think somewhere around here, one of us hits a peanut and fucks it up. Let's see. 660, 670, or damn near. Uh-oh. Boomer was in the background. Luckily, our AI guys were taking care of that for us. That's the one thing about all these, uh, wacky Left 4 Dead achievements, is you have to do them while the zombies are still, you know, potentially attacking you in the background. So, just to think about. Okay, we got 760. We come over here, and we won the Garden Gnome. So now we pick him up, and, uh, we just have to carry him. Initially, I thought we just had to carry him through the level. But that's not correct. We have to carry him all the way through to the helicopter at the end of the game, so through four chapters. So, uh, a lot of strategies here involved in this. I thought this would be a fairly easy achievement, but it's not. As you can see right here, if you get uh, incapacitated or knocked down, you will lose your gnome, so you got to run around and find the poor guy and pick him up. Okay, if you right trigger, you will throw him, and left trigger, you can do a very weak melee that does almost no damage. Now, I wanted to show you this because if you're in dark areas, he almost completely obstructs your view, and you're damn near blind. So, hopefully you're playing with some other human AI or human players that can help you out with that. Once you get into a safe room, you're set. Uh, let's see here. Yep. He just goes through with you. Luckily, you can see I killed almost nobody because I was too busy protecting the little gnome. Now, this is an area that will fuck you up. See, you, uh, you've you got a ton of zombies coming at you on this uh, roller coaster deal. And I had a lot of trouble moving forward in it. Uh, the key we discovered to this level is just to, as soon as you get there, just start hauling ass and running fast. But this is what you want to watch out for. As you can see, Andrew there got... Uh, hit by a jockey, so I'm trying to help him. I can't melee pass this dude fast enough, so I decided to throw my gnome to run over, and boop! Oh, shit, it went off. And not only did it go off, it went off in such a way that we were not able to find it. We looked around for about 10 minutes, so uh, we thought we were totally boned, but we found out if you die, the gnome comes back with you in the safe room when you respawn. So, uh, this next area, we have to go through the turnstile. It's almost at the end. I'm showing this because this was kind of a challenge. I had tried not to attack, mostly, and just guard the gnome, just so he doesn't get lost in the melee. But this one, as you can see, it's like a river of zombies. I've never seen anything in either Left 4 Dead game like this. They just never stop coming. So what I started to do, and pretty much for the rest of the game, is I'd throw my gnome down in front of me so I could keep an eye on him, and then just mow through these guys. See, it's going, it's, this is just absolutely crazy. I'm, <laughs> I'm putting this in more because I'm impressed with how many zombies they throw at you at the end of this thing. You can see there I got charged. And this whole time, you'd be fucking boned if you tried to get through that holding your gnome. Trust me. See, there's even more zombies. And then Andrew got restricted. Constricted? Anyway. And uh, now I'm down. And finally, take my gnome and just haul ass to the safe room. That had to be the most intense moment of Left 4 Dead I've ever played. There must have been 500 zombies that funneled through that alleyway right there. Okay. After that, you end up here at the end of the level, which is the rock band thing, and the helicopter comes down on either side of you, and you never know which side he's going to come down on, so what we started doing was putting the gnome in the floor in front of the stage so that either one of us, both of us knew where he was, because you're not going to have time to hold it while you're fighting. And that way, you don't uh, keep him near you, and then if you're on the wrong side, and you, gotta, you and the gnome got to run all the way over, and you can't fight while you get there, put him in the middle, that way you know you're halfway there either way. Then we set up a ton of explosives, the fireworks, and, and the propane tanks and all that shit around, so that... We could keep it clear. Now, what I've done here is Andrew is going back and getting the gnome. I'm trying to clear the area for him so that he can get to the helicopter. Because the nice thing about this achievement is, as long as one person makes it on the helicopter, everybody in the game gets the achievement, even if they're dead. So now Andrew's running that way. I'm just trying to clear back, or clear the back area, shooting zombies in the cock, you know. Typical day stuff. And I'm down, but Andrew managed to make it on. And as you'll see, we both get the garden gnome achievement. So, that's awesome. So just make sure that one person gets on that helicopter. We had a hell of a time doing it, actually. It was pretty difficult. Uh, so we gave up on us both trying to get on and just, just focused on one of us getting on it. And then also, coolly, you get that Depeche Mode t-shirt avatar, which I'm going to go enable on my character right now. Hope this video was helpful. Hopefully these tips will help you get the Garden Gnome achievement, because it's a fun one.